Hello there, I'm Maya Pine, the new host of Historic Weeks tonight. A new show that is gonna that is gonna be uploaded to my channel every week on either on any time of the weekend. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get into a little bit of prehistory uh, with the new rise of man, uh, with uh, apes evolving. Um, well, everything is starting to change. Um, there were, uh, he, the most recent type of human were uh, just walk, walking on four legs, and then eventually, and then after millions of years, we learned to use but only two legs. So, without without that, I wouldn't be doing this one. But all of this started in the in a country. Well, a continent called Africa. This continent is where the first man was, uh, was, well, the first recorded, uh, man, the uh, oldest fossils there are from Africa. And this is where they would, uh, live and hunt. Then eventually, in about, in about 60,000 years, they start migrating. They go up here into Asia. They go up into Asia on this little island here. They come in here and then eventually they make it to Europe. And then some of them travel all the way to Bering Strait. And, and uh, you know, how the people in uh, the Americas get there. Well, this was taking place in the Ice Age, where most of the water was frozen. So, the, it dropped by about 600 feet, which uh, uh, exposed the Bering Land Bridge, which is exactly right there. And what, this is where the people crossed from modern-day Russia in the modern day Alaska, in the, in the modern day Alaska. They came into here, split off, some stayed in uh, North America, while some went down in Mexico, came to South America. And then, uh, but before any of that, um, the loss, oh, I totally missed something there. Uh, one day, before that happened, there were also some who came down here to the, uh, land, to I'm guessing what were land bridges here, and came down into Australia. And that's how we have multiple people all, all over the world, because of the migrations there. And, uh, these, and, uh, Historic people were known to uh, just make put a live in uh, caves. Uh, eventually, they uh, learned to be uh, hunter gatherers. So they were hunter gatherers or nomadic people, or uh, the people who uh, hunt for hunt for meat and on the way also gather up uh, fruits. Um, that's uh, basically how the America has been for the longest time. Uh, but over in the, the Eastern Hemisphere, I'm pretty sure this is the Eastern Hemisphere, um, this is where uh, the, a lot of the nomads lived. Uh, most people, there were well, actually, I'm not sure how much their population is. I'm pretty sure no one knows. But this is basically uh, what they used. There was just... Most of them lived in a, around the rivers where they could uh, get a fresh water source. And sometimes they would uh, find good uh, plants that they could use for food. So... Um, there's the uh, Tigris and Euphrates rivers right here. 
uh, Nile River, Indus River, Yellow River, and all of those are going to be important for uh, a future episode. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But all these rivers are good for um, having good crops because every year they would uh, flood. And when they did that, they would uh, enrich the soil with silt. The stuff that's at the bottom of the rivers, which made it, uh, which allowed uh, wild plants to come and grow. And that's where the wild animals would come and eat those plants. And because of that, with all this, the nomads started following the animals as they went to eat these. That's what started the migrations, or the Great Migration. Because they were following their food. They didn't know where they were going. And uh, a little after the Ice Age, the Bering Strait uh, flooded over. Everyone who was uh, on North America and South America was now trapped. And that's where people started doing uh, the stuff that they usually do. Yeah, that's really it for, for that. Yeah. And uh, eventually, a couple of years after that, they learn uh, about irrigation. That is a very cool topic that I'm going to get into right now. Um, which was a start of the agricultural revolution. Now, it was not an actual battle because the revolution... It's just a really huge, uh, dramatic change. It's not... The agricultural revolution is just a huge change, which is what a revolution is. A revolution is not a war. Some of them can be wars, but not all of them are wars. But here is what irrigation is. So, go, let's go to the whiteboard. Irrigation is where... Uh, there, there's a river and they use the river and start building their own waterways or man-made rivers which are these man-made rivers are usually given the name of canals like uh, the Panama Canal if you ever heard of it so they would make these own waterways and then make, some of them would make like a basin, I'm just going to use that example, to uh, store the water. So they basically uh, controlled water flow. Mm. Sorry for the bad drawing, I'm not good with the drawing ice marker, but they use these for water, and then because of the water, they could use that for uh, growing food. Because, and uh, because of uh, how much uh, water they had, they could grow, grow as much food as they wanted. And they had so much food to the point where they not F, all of them needed to farm. So then we have something called and then well and then some but before or after that I'm not before or after irrigation I'm not sure is well when we domesticate plants and animals, and domesticate means we use them to our abilities. Domesticating plants, that's a tricky one because, uh, that, I mean, it's really simple, but some people don't know why they d think it doesn't make sense. And that's basically farming, right? Farming is basically domesticating plants. And domesticating animals is, um, like, uh, dogs and cats. We got them from wolves and uh, other, and I actually don't know where cats came from, but we basically use them to our ability. Like, uh, some of, some areas would use, uh, ox to move, uh, 
of certain inventions for farming. That is in, going to be in a later episode I will talk about. And this, and because of this, there was not, because of this, there, there were more jobs available. Carpenters, artists, um, salesmen, and even, and some people still farmed. Yes, they did. Mm, but because it was uh, such hard work, most of the higher class, well, when there was a class system, um, they would make a, other people do it for them. Sometimes not even pay them. So, and be, but due to this, people started getting, and because of this, huge cities would grow. And we would end up with a civilization. Uh, let's use this ugly city here. Um, yeah, let's, let's just use that. Um, and then you would have a bunch of people doing the stuff they needed to do. There was the farm there. And then uh, because of, uh, and they would make it here because these, uh, these areas right here, they, uh, the irrigation that they would use was mostly used also for flooding control because when it would flood, it would collect the water in there and then trap it. So it was a really good way to use it. And then they'd use that for their farms. So, it was really complex. Well, and the city, in the cities, because uh, there were a lot of stuff to do, people started uh, to attack others and steal from others. And they knew that they had to uh, make a system to where they could keep everyone in check. So, then, that's when they set up government. Government is the uh, body used to uh, make sure to make sure everyone uh, obeys everyone else and respects their wishes. It's sh everyone should probably know what a government is, but that's just I just am saying that because I'm supposed to be teaching. All right, and that's how a civilization is made. In a future episode, I will be uh talk. I will be uh. Going, I will be going into uh, Iraq and Syria, and right next to the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, to ancient Mesopotamia. I will show that on the I and on the map. That will be right here. These two rivers are the uh, Tigris and Euphrates. And to summarize, ancient ancient people were uh, were migrating all across the uh, world and uh, creating their own like tribes. And eventually, um, uh, rain, natural floods. What what uh happened in rivers, and that would create a uh, fertile soil, and because of that, uh, wild plants and animals. would start coming to these areas and um they would and they would attract uh the hunter gatherers and 
which uh, caused the whole migration in the first place. When this happened, uh, they people would start domesticating. Wait, when this happened, they learned that they could uh, control water flow, and then they'd start irrigating their fields with uh, uh, with the river water, so that way they could um, that way they could farm easier. Wait, no. Sorry. Domesticated plants and animals come first. And because of this, they... Wait, do I have this right? I'm not sure. Anyway. Then because of this, um, they would uh, learn about irrigation. And with the irrigation, they got food surpluses. Which also created a division of labor. This civilization grew. Well, the civilization was born. And and because of this, well, because of the division of labor. Civilization and government was created. So this is uh, this is how we summarized everything. Um, because of the the natural flood. Caused, uh, sorry. Natural floods caused uh, fertile soil to be found near rivers, uh, and because and then wild plants and animals started uh, getting getting grown and attracted to those places, where the hunter gatherers followed them and migrated all across the world to hunt them down. Then they domesticated some other plants and animals. And then, and Domesticate. They've domesticated animals for a while. Plants. Uh, that's that was because of irrigation, which uh, not only domesticated plants but created a food surplus. And when that food surplus was made, uh, everyone had to farm. So we created. So it was a division of labor was created, and because of that, civilization and government. talking about ancient Mesopotamia. So that's uh, that will be our episode for today and I'll see you all next